Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, solving all the lead code, hack rank problems, explaining the algorithms. People are confused. People are like, how do I do this? What does this code mean? I'm here to explain the code, tell you how to do it. Hopefully, it is a good explanation compared to a lot of the people that are slow and boring. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe, by the way, if you can. Uh, this is 257 binary tree paths, an easy problem, right? This is a very good introduction to DFS, depth first search, right? Uh, tree problems are really good for mastering BFS breadth first search and DFS depth first search. Uh, this is uh, given a binary tree, return all root to leaf paths. Okay, so a tree is just a bunch of nodes and a tree looking structure, right? So the top has one node and then it's a binary tree. So this is the structure of a tree node, right? So each node has a value, like one is a node. This is the root node. The first top of the node is the root node. It has a value of one, and then it has a left and a right ch child, right? Now the left child is two, the right child is three, right? So a binary tree can have zero, one, or two children. So if it has no children, the left and right will just be null. If it has one child, either the left or right will be null, one of them will be null, and uh, one of them won't be null, right? And these, the, you know, the children just point to other nodes, right? So this is the root. And the leaves are the ones at the bottom. The leaves are the ones that have no children. A leaf is a node with no children. It says it right there. Didn't even notice that. Okay, so this is the leaf. You know, this is a leaf, right? Um, so we want to find all the root to leaf paths. Return all the root to leaf paths. Uh, so like one, two, five, one, two, five, and one, three. And we want to, while we find these, we want to put them in a string with arrows. I don't know why they have that going on, but... You have to do that. Maybe a sum would have been easier, but that's fine. So to do this, a root to leaf path, uh, DFS is a be the best solution here. I'm sure you in most of these problems, you could either do DFS or BFS. You can choose either one of them, right? In this one, I would say do DFS because root to leaf is just DFS. That's the definition. Uh, breadth first search is known for going level by level. So you'd go one, then you go two, three, then you go f the next level and the next level, right? DFS is all the way down and then back up and then a different path all the way down. It's depth first while, um, you know, breadth first means level by level. Depth first is all the way down to the leaf and then, you know, back and then all the way down to the leaf, right? Okay, uh, so we're gonna use depth first search. Now, uh, I had this question on my live stream. When do you use a helper method? A helper method you use when you have a structure you wanna pass in, I would say as a parameter and you don't wanna modify the original um, function, right? So we have this original function, we take in the root node, right? So the root could be null, right? So for, and we're gonna return this list of strings. So let's just start setting up our list of strings. So the list of string is gonna be called result. This is what we're returning, right? Uh, so this is gonna be a new array list. It's just a you know basic list. It's gonna have all the strings of the paths. Uh, and this is what we're going to be returning. So down here, you can just write return results. That's what we'll do. And we're going to have a helper method that we pass this in because we're going to pass it in over and over again. We're not going to modify the structure of this and do the recursive calls. DFS is a recursive method. So we're going to just make a method, right? We're going to say public void. We're not going to return anything. We're just going to modify. We're going to pass this in and modify it, the result. So we're going to pass this into a helper method. Uh, we're going to do something add the strings to it, and then at the end, it'll be modified, and we'll just return it back in this method, right? So this is going to be called DFS, and it's going to take this tree node node. It's going to take a tree node. We're going to take a current path string, so current string or current path. I'm going to call it current path, and then we're going to take in that list of strings result. So we take in result, and we'll modify it down here, right? Um, so each node we hit, so we're gonna start at one, each node we hit, we're gonna add it to our path string. So we're gonna see one and then we're gonna see two. We'll add two to the string and then we'll see five and we have to add the arrows as well. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna say current path plus equals a arrow and then also plus equals the value of the node. So node.val. Um, so that's 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 gonna be what we're adding every time we do this recursive call, right? Uh, so we can first first of all the root could be null, right? The root could be null. So we want to check against that. If root is null, we just want to return an empty array, right? If root is null, return result. There's nothing in result. There is no strings in result. So we return result. There's no paths. There's no root. There's no if there's no root, there's no tree. So there's nothing to traverse. There's no paths, right? Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to make our string current path that we're going to pass in, right? String 
current path is going to be equal to, sorry, um, integer dot two string of root dot val, right? Uh, so we're just making a string of the number the root, right? So we're gonna start it off. The note, the root node is gonna be the first thing in the string each time. So we're just adding that to the string, right? So we add one to the string. We add one to the string, right? So we just add one to the current path, right? Um, if root uh, dot left is equal to null, meaning there's no children, it's just the root. We're just gonna add this to our output. So, and then we're gonna return result, right? So if root.left is equal to null and root.right is equal to null, meaning there's no children, then we're just gonna say, okay, result.add current path. Cause it would just add that one node to the string. That would be the only path. So just add that to the result and then we'll return it. Otherwise, so we're gonna have these conditions. If root.left is not equal to null, then we're gonna call our method on root.left, we're gonna pass in our current path and we're also gonna pass in result. And we're gonna do this for the right node as well, if that makes sense. So we call this, as long as there's children nodes, we call this method on our right and left nodes. So we call this on two and three. So we start going down the paths we can go down, right? Um, so this is how, you know, as long as they're not null, we go down the pass. We pass in our string. They already have the root node in it. And now each time we're doing recursive calls, each time we do a recursive call, we're gonna add the arrow and the node's value until we get to the leaf. So when we get to the leaf, that'll just be, okay, if root or if node.left equals null and node.right equals null, then we've hit a leaf. And what we can do is we can add that string because we've been building this current path the whole time. So we'll do result.add current path and then we'll return, we're done. We've hit it. So when we hit three on these recursive calls, we're gonna finish the current path. Current path had all the arrows. It'll do arrow plus three. Like in this case, we're gonna look at, okay, one, right? We make a string of one, right? That's, and then we make our call. And then it's one arrow, three, okay? And then there's no children for three. So it'll do result.add one arrow three. So result adds one arrow three and it returns and then it returns result, boom. You know what I'm saying? So, and then the only other thing is you just do these things again. It's the same thing down here. Before you do the recursive calls, you just wanna make sure that the nodes have left and right children. So if node.left is not equal to null, and node.right is not equal to null, then we pass in node.left and we pass in and that's it. Uh, that's it, so you just keep calling, you call on all the possible paths, it'll do every path with the root starting in the string. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, you know, 100%, 100%. This is DFS, so it's recursion. If you don't understand recursion, you might wanna learn it a little bit more before you do DFS, because it's all recursion. Uh, so it just calls, you know what I mean? One gets added to, like for the other side, one gets added to the string, right? One is the string, and then uh, it passes in the left side. So left, it calls on the left. Now left node gets passed in, two. So current path plus equals arrow, then two. So one arrow, two so far. Is it at, it, does a two have children? Yes. So you go down here, doesn't call on the left side because there's no node, calls on the right side, five. So then it does one arrow, two, arrow, five. And then it adds it to the result. So one arrow, two, arrow, five gets added. And on the right call, it would have added one error three, and then it has both of those in the result, and we return the result when we come out. That's it. We submitted it. It's all good. DFS. Check out BFS. I'm sure there's one in the discussion. Uh, there's also other implementations of DFS. I think this one's pretty straightforward. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe once again. I'm out here with the green screen. Hopefully, I'm not covering up the code. Easy problem. Good for DFS. There's a uh, yeah, ton of tree problems. Get your tree problem on. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. All right. Peace. Da -da -na 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 -na.